Great having Christian Savoy back here on the program. He's got a big title fight coming up here for CFFC on November 19th. He's going to be taking on Basil Hafez. Uh, Christian, how's it going, man? It's been a while. I'm really good, brother. Yeah, thanks so much for uh, reaching out to me and uh, hitting me up again, man. It's nice to see you. Yeah, it's nice to see you as well. Uh, big opportunity, like I mentioned. Uh, tell me how this all came together, because uh, we're seeing a lot of Canadians, including yourself, having to take opportunities in the U.S. just because there isn't any you know, fights going on in Canada. Yeah, well, partly exactly that, man. You know, like fighting in here uh, in Canada isn't an option right now. So um, how it came about was just like I, w- I was really hoping to get my shot, you know, either – on contender series or directly in the UFC. Um, that didn't come about. So I, I basically texted my manager, man. I was like, what do we have to do? You know, like I'll fight the LFA champ. I'll fight the CFFC champ. You know, like, can, can we, can we get one of those things done? And, uh, a couple of weeks later, um, one of my managers texted me to fight, uh, Bobby Hill for the CFFC vacant uh for the cffc title sorry mm-hmm. and uh bobby ended up getting signed by bellator so um the title was vacant then they offered me basil and at this point man i was just saying yes 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 like, yeah anybody you know get, get, get me a fight yeah so yeah yeah That's and, and yeah and just just to correct it was bobby uh, lee who you're supposed to fight i think you corrected it after but initially you said bobby hill which was on king of the hill but uh it, it can get uh, it can get confusing <laughs> either way but uh no, no, that, that makes sense. And, of course, Bobby Hill beat a Canadian in his last fight, uh, getting the win over Michael Hill. So, uh, yeah, it's good to see that CFFC getting a lot of Canadians in there, uh, which is uh, which is really awesome there. Um, in some ways, is this better than Contender Series? Because you're the main event. It's for a title. Like, I think all the CFFC champs, or at least in the UFC or in Bellator, do you kind of look at it that way? Because with the Contender Series, you're having a fight with, you know, uh, you have to compete with four other fights on the card. Yeah, no, I, I I think so, man. You know, I uh, I love the opportunity to, to win another belt, too. You know, that's cool. And, um, yeah, man, I think this is as good, if not better, an opportunity. So I'm just – I'm really blessed and happy to be in this position right now. Yeah, no, I agree. And, and just last thing, sort of on Contender Series, like you were never offered a spot because I'm pretty surprised considering the amount of Canadians they had on the show this year, uh, even not just right now, but even if you look at, you know, back when they were doing the show, like earlier in the summer. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised too, man, to be honest, you know, but um, it is what it is, right? I'm just, yeah. uh, I'm happy to be in a position where I can show them like, hey, you know, like, I'm the guy you should have had, but yeah. And it's on you know. fight pass your, your fight as well. So people are going to get to see you no matter where they are. And that that's like an added benefit as well too. And also I think people forget you were supposed to be on contender series a couple of years ago, but you had an injury. So you weren't able to take it or there was something right. Like that you, you weren't able to take an opportunity. I think you're supposed to fight Jordan Williams at middleweight. Were you not? Yeah. Yeah. Um, long story short, man. Um, I was told initially that, if I fought and won that fight that I could drop to 170 in the UFC. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, you know, like I'll, I'll do this one fight at 85 to uh, get me to the big show. Then I was told that I would have to stay at 85. Oh you know, yeah. And, and I know you welterweight's more ideal for you in terms of, uh, you know, your career you've performed. I mean, you're undefeated, but still, I think, you know, we all agree that you're better at welterweight, right? It's a better weight class for you. Exactly, man. And, and, you know, like at the end of the day, I, I want to play the long game, you know, and I feel like I've made the right choices in my career. And, you know, like now I'm, I'm I feel like I'm in a position again where, you know, I, I can I can finally get signed in, in my weight class, you know, so I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy to be here. And you got a great opponent here. Same amount of fights. Uh, he's got a bit of a different record. He's five, two and one. Uh, what do you know about him? How do you feel like you match up against him? I, uh, he's a good fighter, man. You know, like he's five, two and one, um, one, his, his draw comes to Jeremiah Wells, who, uh, was the CFFC champ and signed with the UFC. Then another one of his losses was against somebody who's four. No. And, uh, you know, so he's never been finished, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm taking him, you know, as serious as anybody, you know, I think he's a really good fighter. I think, uh, I think he's aggressive. I think he's got really good jujitsu. He's athletic, you know, so I'm taking him really serious. 
Yeah, and, and a great opponent too. I mean, it's one thing to fight someone with a decent record, but he's got a great record. So, you know, again, that'll help your case to, you know, get a big show opportunity should you come out victorious here. How's training camp been looking? I don't know what the regulations are like in uh, New Brunswick, but I know here in BC, uh, they're starting to crack down a bit again with the, the COVID stuff. But did you get a pretty good camp leading into this one? Yeah, it was, uh, it had its uh, adversity, man, for sure. You know, um, just with everything, the COVID thing. Um, a lot of times I had to schedule my training sessions and organize my training partners. So I definitely had to put more work in to, um, to have good sessions in, I guess. But, you know, it all, uh, it all worked out, man. You know, um, if it wasn't for COVID, you know, I was considering going to, to Montreal to do some of my training camp. But, um, you know, they, they got hit hard up there, man. So, yeah, you know, I, uh, yeah, I just decided to stay here, man. This, you know, this is my hometown. This is where I've done majority of my, my fight camp. So I'm, I'm very, uh, very happy with how this training camp went. And that would have been a TriStar if you were going to go to Mont- Montreal, right? Yeah, I was going to train at TriStar and, and I have, um, uh, I have other friends and connections up there. Like, um, I was actually talking to, uh, Dave LaDuke. Oh, Letway, you know, uh, Mr. Letway. Of course I know David. Yeah, Duke. yeah. Yeah. So he, he's a buddy of mine. Um, like we trained together a few times and I, I was considering to go up there, maybe do a few rounds with him. And, um, there's a, there's a, there's another good black belt, um, Corey something, man, I forget his last name, but anyways, he's a 10th planet black belt. And, uh, basically I, I had other options too, man. Montreal is, you know, a big Mecca for martial arts. So, no, you know, it, it I, I got a lot is. of friends there too. And, and I know in the past as well, you've trained a bit at Rufus Sport, and I actually saw a couple of the guys, uh, you know, giving you props for getting this title fight. I know some of them also have the same manager, but that must have been cool. Like, I think it was Emmanuel Sanchez or Rafion Stotts, one of those guys. I saw a comment on your Instagram. Yeah, man, I, I, I love all those guys at Rufus. You know, they're all they're all friends of mine and guys I consider teammates, you know, and it, it's somewheres I definitely want to go again. You know, COVID just kind of, again, put a put some weird things and everything, but um Emmanuel is actually going to come corner me for this. Oh, fight. no way. Yeah. Awesome. One of the best. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Yeah. Yeah. So, Good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I love all those guys. Fantastic. And I imagine the weight cuts going well. Cause you, you, you knew, you probably knew you were going to fight around this time anyways, I would think. I had no idea when I was going to fight. No. Bro. Okay. I, uh, yeah. It was, it's been, it's been an SOB to say the least trying yeah. to, trying to get a fight. But, um, but I really, um, I was, Based on everything that was going on, it seemed like there was a lot of opportunity happening for me at 185 and not at 170. So I was actually considering moving up. But then I just, you know, I just I, I, I just made the decision, no, I'm just going to really crack down on my diet, man, and, uh, you know, stay ready in case something happens. And uh, I did that, man. And I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm, I've been walking around leaner these last couple weeks, like, than what I would be on fight week, you know? So yeah. I'm, I'm in great, great shape right now. How's the fight playing out on November 19th? Um, you know, man, uh, of course I'm going to get my hand raised, but, um, you know, I think he's a very aggressive fighter. You know, um, I think I might have to weather the early storm. You know, it's in his hometown, you know, I, I'm sure he's hungry to win this in front of his, his friends and fans and all that, you know, I'm sure this is something that he's been working for a long time. So again, I'm not taking him lightly and, you know, he's an athletic guy and I think he's going to come at me hard. And, um, you know, I think, uh, I think I'm going to finish him in the later rounds. That's my prediction. Excellent. I like it. And, and, you know, we talked about the implications here. I think it's, you know, Bellator, UFC, it doesn't matter. I mean, you win a CFFC title, any of those promotions that are on Fight Pass, I think that leads to bigger things. Is that kind of the sense you're getting from your management that if you do go out there, get an impressive finish, a UFC call up could be next? For sure, man, for sure. That's, uh, that's what I'm being told. Basically, you know, I, I win this fight in an impressive fashion and it's, it's hard to deny me at that point. Right. Yeah, and, and I'm sure if you come out of this unscathed, would you stay ready just in case something comes up? Because we're seeing a lot of fighters now get opportunities in the UFC, but they're usually short notice, um, and I'm sure that's something you've thought of as well. Not not looking past uh, November 19th, obviously, but you know that is that is one of the benefits that you know if you win this title, then I'm sure you're on the short list. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Um, ideally, you know, I'd like a training camp because you know I'm a big guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
but uh but yeah man of course you know um i the the issue with kind of short notice is that when i come home i gotta quarantine for two weeks too right oh yeah but um but at the end of the day man you know if my manager's like hey you know we got you a fight in three four weeks and I'll do what I got to do, man. I'll wrestle with my dad, you know, because I'm going to quarantine with, with them at their place and leave uh, leave my girlfriend to the apartment. I was going to ask you but that. Anyways, yeah, that must yeah. be tough, right? Because she can't go. I don't, she, I'm assuming she can't go with you. No, no, no. She, uh, she's got obligations with work and stuff, you know, but, uh, yeah, no, it's pretty cool, man. My, my, my dad's coming with me, you know, so, uh, you know, it's cool to have him uh, in my corner. Absolutely, man. Well, Christian, it's great to see you get this opportunity. I'm really looking forward to this fight. November 19th, CFFC 89, live in UFC Fight Pass. Anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media you want to plug, I'll give you the last word. Uh, I can't think of everybody off the bat, but I just want to give a shout out to all my sponsors, my my coaches, my friends, my family, and my entire city, man. You know, like so many people came together to to contribute and sponsor me for this fight, man. And considering COVID and everything, I, I didn't expect everything because I know that, uh, you know, small businesses are taking a, a, a big hurting right now, you know, but so many people have contributed to help me out with this fight, man. And it makes me really want to, you know, more than ever fight for my city. So love you guys. Love the port city.